Good morning, everybody. I am still in my evening gown and not wearing any makeup because yesterday was a long day. It really wiped me out. I am pooped. <laughs> what are you doing, silly? Um, today, I am, I may not even put makeup on. I'm so tired. I'm about to make breakfast, so I'll show you um, that. And then I have the two hauls, the Target haul and the Tom Thumb haul from yesterday. And then uh, I tried the daughter first, and, the, and then the tree, and then Target, and then Tom Thumb never comes back. Yeah, that's back. what all we did yesterday. That was a long day, wasn't it? Yeah, I was. You on your chin. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, and then I had to make dinner tonight, so and I'll show then you. Then you had to make food. Yes. Tonight. So I mean, I think that's gonna be a pretty good long video. I had a couple of other. I had a couple of other things planned today too, but I don't know. We'll get to them. I'm just so tired. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me talk to you. That is what I have planned for today. Got a sleeping dog on me. My old dog. Um so yeah, I think that might be enough for this video. Like I said, I have uh, some other things planned, but we'll see if we get to them. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go make some breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? Well, they can't see it. What is it? It's cereal. He, for some reason, has been really into Christmas the last couple of days. So he wanted some Rice Krispie Christmas. Cereal, so. But I can be crispy. Did you like it? Okay. Did you like it? Did it talk to you? That's what the popping sound is. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. <laughs> I am going to be making the egg and potato casserole. My husband said that it looked delicious and wants me to make it for him. But first you're going to preheat your oven to 350. Then I put aluminum foil down because you're supposed to lightly coat a two quart square baking dish with nonstick cooking spray. But I just wanted to keep my pan clean so I just added the aluminum foil. Next, you are supposed to add in your hash brown potatoes. I had some in the freezer and I thought I had enough. I thought I had a new bag, but I find out that the bag has been used. Um, so, I used what I had and then you will also see here that they are frozen into big chunks so I have to microwave them down so that they will be arranged perfectly in the pan. See here, that is not two cups of frozen diced hash brown potatoes with onion and peppers. So I had these leftover potatoes and I needed to use them anyway and I thought they would be good if I just added them in on top of these hash browns. Do one cup. 
up a loose fat frozen cut broccoli, or you can add in asparagus instead, whichever you prefer. Next, you will top with Canadian style bacon. You will be using a third of a cup of chopped Canadian style bacon for a lean cooked ham, about two ounces. And you'll see me get the Canadian bacon out and then I will chop up about a third of a cup. In a medium bowl, you will gradually add evaporated milk, about one third of a cup of fat-free evaporated milk. Then you will add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and then beat with a fork or wire whisk. In another medium bowl, add eight eggs and then beat with a wire whisk until combined. mixture, a fourth of a cup of cheese, basil, salt, and pepper into the egg mixture. Pour mixture over vegetables. Bake for 50 minutes or until a knife inserted near the center comes out clean. Sprinkle with remaining one fourth of a cup of cheese. Let stand for five minutes before serving. Okay, I am going to show you what I do with drink, uh, how I make my drinks in the morning. All right, today I'm gonna to be drinking the raspberry lemonade. I uh, like the peach tea and the raspberry tea also, but today I'm drinking this one. And this is how I make it. David thinks it's too sweet, but I do a squirt before the water, squirt in the middle, and then another squirt after <laughs> David. After I um there we go. That's how I do it. You saw what I did. David told me it's three squeezes, not squirts. <laughs> yeah. But you know you know what I mean. 
<laughs> okay, next I want to show you what I put in my coffee first. Um, I have been doing the oat creamer, but um, since it's fall, I have to go to my favorite and do the pumpkin spice. Um, my coffees probably aren't the most healthy, but this is my treat for the day. I do about that much creamer just till it starts to come up. Like people, I like to say that I like a little coffee with my creamer. I'll give it a little stir. I don't put any sugar or anything in it because I get plenty of sugar from my creamer. All right, and next I um, I usually don't do the both of what I usually do, but this uh, my Walmart didn't have my sweet foam. This is really, really, really good, especially with this um, pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie spice creamer. But so since I didn't have that sweet foam, I had to get the nitro, which is still good. But um, I usually don't put both of them in my coffee, but I didn't want this one to go bad. So I'm still just gonna do like a little squirt in it. Squirt, squeeze. <laughs> And then, I'm going, I'm sorry, I have my, what is it, laugh box turned over, what is it, giggle box? Oh, jeez. And then, I do my favorite, the sweet foam. There we go. Delicious. Okay. And my breakfast over here is looking good. It's supposed to make six servings. So I need to count out six. Let's see. Do try to get the middle. All right, so I'm just gonna get this one right here. And that cheese has melted well. There we go. Looks yummy. All right, so that is my breakfast. Okay, time for the haul. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is the Target one. That's what I want first. And the main reason I went to Target was because of this right here. It is Hannah's formula. And we go there to buy her formula because you can buy one. And if you buy another one, you get a little gift card for $10. $10. So that's what we do. Frosted mini wheats. Um, the pumpkin spice kind. I told you that we really like pumpkin spice in this house, but um, for a long time, this, I could only find it at Target, and I did see it at Tom Thumb yesterday, so I know I can do there. Every once in a while, I can find it at Walmart. You'd think I would find it at Walmart, because Walmart has the best option for cereal, but I got two of those, because both David and I eat those. Next, I got this new Stella. Um, it is a, it says gentle cleansing gel. This is what I use for um, Hannah and James's bath time. It's gentle. They both have sensitive skin and this is um, cleans and softens their hair and body. Next, I got this triple paste. It um, it's really a good choice for a baby's diaper rash. It clears it up really quickly. I actually went for the Mistella because I think, David, do you like the Mistella a little bit better than um, Triple Paste? David thinks it works better and he thinks it goes on easier. <laughs> but um, uh, David said it, it's thicker. He said it goes on better because this is, this, the Mistella one goes on better because you don't have to rub it and because this one's thicker, but I think it, I still think it works really well. Alcohol, <laughs> because the ones that I have, 
gotten were the smaller ones and then since forever you couldn't I couldn't find out al rubbing alcohol for the life of me nobody could so when I found this big one I bought it at Target next I bought was the silicone place mat um, we use this it's great when you go out to eat I'll put it in Hannah's diaper bag so you can put it down on the table and they can eat and it doesn't slip or fall like a, a plate would. I also got some more of these silicone bibs. I bought the other one at Walmart. I like them because they're adjustable so they can, it can grow with baby. And of course it's pink and it has a little bunny on it. Sorry if you can hear James in the background, he's entertaining Hannah. So whatever entertains her, right? And um, here's a little rainbow one. So I got that. And she can always, I like this adjustable because she's always trying to take her bib off, so. But she has been successful at taking those off, so. I just found a rock. <laughs> I guess James put a rock in the bag, so. Yeah, anyway, I thought that was funny, so I included that. Okay. Then I bought James these cute little pants, $9, Cat and Jack, reinforced knee, which is always great. These little boys are definitely tough on their, the knee of their pants. And then I got this, I thought it was to go with the pants. I think it'd be cute for Thanksgiving. It says give thanks and it was $5.50 and thought that was a cute little combination. Next, I got these surface cleaning wipes because I can't find Clorox wipes anywhere or the Lysol wipes. So I picked these up because I picked these up because I need something to help me clean. <laughs> I love the Clorox wipes. Then I just picked up some of this shaving gel. I've never used Target's brand before, so we'll see how that goes. I was getting low on my shaving gels. And then I bought these for um, David. He wanted the sensitive ones, but I didn't see any sensitive ones, so I, I don't even know what Manuka bandages are, but skin friendly adhesive bandit, uh, bandages. It's medical grade and it's, oh, it's made from like honey. Um, yeah, so we're gonna try that. And then on clearance, actually, this one doesn't say clearance, but I got in the clearance area and I know the other one was clearance. I got two of them. And so I, my daughter wants me to take fish oil. <laughs> if only you could see James right now. He's running around like a crazy man with a hat. This is under and a shirt, socks, and what? His, a recorder and a wand. <laughs> oh, James, I need to see your wand. James got this in the dollar spot yesterday. I'm not really sure what that is. A little walrus. And it goes up. He was doing this in the back of the car last night and it was dark. And I thought police were after me. <laughs> Every time. Because <laughs> he turned it on. So, but yeah, I had to look back and be like, what? I'm not getting pulled over, am I? Alright, so that is everything I got at Target. Let me go and clear this off. Clear this off. And get um, the Tom Thumb stuff. Oh yeah, and I also bought this broom at Target too. All right, next is Tom Thumb, which is our one of the grocery stores here. Uh, I went to Tom Thumb because they were giving away. If you spent a hundred dollars, you got twenty dollars off, and or uh, if you spent fifty, you got ten dollars off. And then they also had some other coupons for like a free thing for that week for this. So this whole month, every week, there's something new that you can get for free. 
and I'll show you what that is, what this week's was in a second. But I did, after shopping all day yesterday and taking James to the doctor, I was like, I'm too tired to cook. So <laughs> I just went and bought this Wild Mike's Ultimate Pizza. We had this and it was really good. Um, we've had this before. I think it was just a pepperoni, maybe pepperoni hamburger. I can't remember, but we tried the Supreme one this time. Over two pounds. So yeah, it was it was tasty. I actually forgot this was supposed to be in the Target haul, but I forgot I'll just put in this one. But James is really on his kick about Christmas right now. I'm not sure why, but um, we got this Rice crispy Kellogg's. Um, with holiday colors, the special holiday edition of these Rice crispy treats, or Rice crispy cereal. So, I'll just put that with this one, even though, remember, that's from Target. <laughs> and then, James, this is hungry all the time, so we had to give him some snacks. The first one I got was this organic Bernie's Farm fruit snacks. All right, the free thing this week was bananas. Yeah. So we got these for free. Yeah, uh, did you show them strawberries last time? Oh, I will. I did not show the strawberries. I will. Um, another one of his snacks is these rock and blue raspberries. They're naturally fat free, low sodium, vitamin C, gluten free, all that good stuff. And they were on clearance. I've seen them in other stores, and I always was going to get them, but since they were in clearance, I decided to go ahead and just get them. All right, next I got were the birthday cake ones. Um, he hadn't tried that one. He's tried the rock and blue raspberries, and he liked them. So I'm guessing that one's going to be next. A whole bunch of baby food, and has already had that one. Here's even more baby food. I haven't tried the, these packs with her yet, um, but I use them with James and I really like them. They're really good for on the go too, but I got a bunch of these too. They're not as cost efficient as these but they're more friendly on the go I guess you could say all right another treat for James or snack for James it's these power crunch kids protein snacks and he loves strawberries so got him the strawberry shortcake all right and then for a meal this week I need three different or three chicken broths, low sodium. These muffins right here, the Kodiak cakes. I know there's, they're nothing new to y'all now, but uh, the very first time that David and I ever had these Kodiak cakes um, was this the regular pumpkin muffin ones, and we loved them. And then we haven't been able to find them ever since that first year they came, or we saw that they came out. But, uh, this has dark chocolate in it, which sounds really good too. I had to get four. <laughs> All right, then I got these Soba Japanese Buckwheat Noodles and they are also for a recipe this week. And then my doctor also wanted me to take vitamin D, so I got two of these. Um, it's buy one get one free and then I got these sticky notes because I love sticky notes <laughs> you can never have too many of these well at least I feel like you can't um, but I have a reason I bought these is I have an idea for these I'm gonna be using them in this I think I'm gonna be using these in these like this prayer Bible that I'm gonna be starting 
in the beginning of the year. So I just went ahead and bought these because I knew if I didn't buy them now, then I would regret it later when the time come and I couldn't find them. Okay, so this is this part and I have a whole nother part for the frozen food and food is in the refrigerator. All right, next is the refrigerated stuff. James loves munch lunchables. Lunchables. Um, so I got him one of these, and then I found these new ones. Um, I never he'd never had these before. It's ham and American cheese by Armor Lunch Makers, and he had the turkey and American cheese today. So I don't have that one to show you, but. And I got this roasted shredded chicken and that, that is for a meal for tonight. I got these very sad strawberries. They um, they looked okay in the store. I flipped them around, but apparently from now on, I will be opening them up and looking at them that way because a few of them, not a few, like half of the container, they were bad and I gave James some, not the bad ones, some decent ones. Um, but yeah, I was disappointed in the strawberries. I know they're out of season right now, but yeah. I got some orange juice because that's gonna be going in a recipe. I got another pumpkin pie spice because I can't have enough of it, especially during the fall. Oh, yeah. I got the sweet foam that you saw earlier. Uh -huh. I got some chicken breast fillets. That's going to be for a recipe. James, you're scooting the chair and I can't hear. I got some butter because we were almost out. I got some mint for a recipe. I got David some fully cooked bacon, even though he said this was the wrong kind. I still He still liked it once he got it. He wanted them microwave ready ones but he wasn't complaining once he had it he said they were still good and i got these green peas i was supposed to get the pea pod ones but i didn't have those so i ended up just having to get these green peas for a recipe the next two things are probably my favorite things out of the whole haul <laughs> um is the Sara lee pecan coffee cakes uh Pum Pum is the only place I can find these now. There's this one and another one I'm about to show you. Um, yeah, they're good. They remind me of my childhood. We used to eat them all the time when I was little, so. Just put that right. That's a good place for it. And then here's the Butter Streusel Coffee Cake. This is another one that we had sometimes. Uh, I think we had this one, the pecan one more. But then I told my mom, when I was little, it wasn't a big fan of pecans. Now I love them. But, um, so sometimes she would get this one. So this is a good change during as well. And for a long time, well, when I first started going to this Tom Thumb, they had both of these. And then for a while, they didn't carry this one. And I was really sad. <laughs> and But I went back, when I went back yesterday, they had, had it, so I had to buy it. So I got both of those. And then, of course, I had to get these for Jane's because, one, he loves Mickey Mouse. Well, he saw them. He was like, Mickey Mouse waffles. He wants me to. So I had to buy them for him. So there you go. All right. I think that is all of the food from the freezer or refrigerator. I might be missing stuff. I'm not completely sure, but I think that was all. I forgot I bought this milk also. And these smoothies too, because James loves Paw Patrol and he loves these smoothies. Then I let James pick up two pumpkins, one for him and one for Hannah. I didn't see that this one looks a little <laughs> sad and rotten. We'll just we'll just turn him around. Oop. Let's see. That one's still not great size, but hey, it's better. The other one. So that's all I got at Tom Thumb. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make 
the crunchy cucumber chicken salad. In a large bowl, you will put in two cups of shredded cooked chicken breast. Then you are going to peel, seed, and cube a cantaloupe and half and or half seedless red grapes that and they equal up to two cups. I did one cup of the cubed cantaloupe and then another cup of the half seedless red grapes. Then you will chop up one cup of cucumber. Then for the dressing, in a screw top jar, combine a third of a cup of orange juice. Three tablespoons of canola, canola oil. I don't have that, I just have vegetable oil and olive oil, so I used three tablespoons of olive oil. Olive oil. Then add one tablespoon snipped fresh mint or cilantro. Season to taste with salt and pepper. Cover and shake well. You can go ahead and add the dressing to the chicken mixture, but I personally just wanted to put it over at the end on top of the lettuce and the chicken mixture, but you can do either way. This will make four servings. And if you do decide to add the dressing to the chicken before putting it on the plate, then you better serve it immediately. But if you decide to just put it on over the salad, when, once it's on the plate, then you can save the chicken and eat it again the next day. And that's what we did. I hope you enjoy. If you decide to make this, I hope you enjoy. I really liked it.
it was a nice it'd be a nice good summer salad everything was nice and fresh and very tasty I'm going to end the video here. I feel like it's going to be a really long video, but I have some banana cake and James is eating some blueberry pie. Let me show you that. And I think Hannah's teasing. Yeah, it's okay, baby girl. So I hope that you, if you can, hope you can hear me. It's okay, baby girl. Let me eat my cake and I'll come I'm pick you too. up. And James is here too. And Dad gave me milk. Well, and I, I had milk. And now he's making water. Yeah, that's good. So if you light my, light my hauls and my meals today, give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss any of my videos all right until next time bye, bye.